Would you like to know if this series converges or not? Sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 9 to the nth power over 3 plus 10 to the nth power. And here's a strategy. Whenever we have a fraction, let's just pay attention to the dominating part on the top and then the dominating part on the bottom. The top is just 9 to the n, so there's nothing else, right? But then on the bottom, 3 plus 10 to the n, the 10 to the nth power dominates the 3. In another word, if n goes to infinity, the plus 3 doesn't really matter. And we can just technically look at this as 9 to the n over 10 to the n. And we know much better about that series. If we can come up with something that we know much better, then we get to use one of the comparison tests. Usually, we'll be able to run through the argument really nicely. So let me just put down the things that we just said, something that we already know much better. And I'll just write down, we know that this series, where n goes from 1 to infinity, putting down the same numbers right here as the original, and then I will just put down the dominating part, 9 to the n and then the 10 to the n. So we have 9 to the n over 10 to the n. And let me rewrite this as sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, parentheses 9 over 10, and then raised to the nth power. And the reason for me to do that is because now I can say this is a geometric series because we have a common ratio, this number, 9 over 10, never changes, and then raised to an n power, right? So we say r right here is equal to 9 over 10, and more importantly, we have to indicate that 9 over 10 is less than 1. Therefore, we know this series converges by geometry test, if you would like to write it down. All right, now let's look at the comparison tests. We have two versions, um, you know, usually one or the other will work, will help us out. And the question is, which one should we use? I would just recommend you guys, maybe the limit comparison test is the one that people uh, like better because all we need to do is, we are going to take the limit, we'll check the limit as um, n goes to infinity, a n, which is the original, and then b n is something that we know much better in this case, it will be this. Hopefully, we compute the limit, and then we get a nice, a nice number, okay, a nice answer for this. And this, by nice, I mean that it has to be greater than zero. And also, it cannot be zero, and it cannot be infinity. This way, we get to draw a conclusion. And the conclusion is that both of the um, series of an or the series of bn converge, or both of them diverge. So that's for the limit comparison test. We check limits. And if you want to do the direct comparison test, then we are going to check uh, inequalities. Right, now let's just do the check and we'll use the limit comparison test. If it doesn't work, such as if we don't get a nice answer, if the limit may be zero or infinity, then maybe we can you know, just switch to the direct comparison test. But hopefully it works. All right. So to check, I will just put down as n goes to infinity. This is a shorter way to write down the limit, okay? So I can just say as n goes to infinity, let me put down a n, which is the original right here, 9 to the nth power over 3 plus 10 to the nth power, and then over um, the b n, which is something that we know much better, which is that. But then let me put it in that form, because I'm going to flip the fraction in a minute. So I'm going to write down 9 to the n over 10 to the n. So now let's look at this and do some algebra first. This is the same as 9 to the n over 3 plus 10 to the n, the numerator right here. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of, of the bottom. So we have 10 to the n over 9 to the n. And as we can see, the 9 to the n pretty much cancel each other out. And this is just the same as 10 to the n over 3 plus 10 to the n. And so far, all these steps are just algebraic steps. So that's why I put on the equal sign. And finally, we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity. And all you matter is on the top, the 10 to the n. And on the bottom, is just also the 10 to the n. The 3 doesn't matter. And I'm going to draw arrow because I'm showing this is approaching to 10 to the n over 10 to the n which we know this is approaching to 1. 
So as we can see, this is the limit of an over bn, and then we get the answer is equal to 1, which is greater than 0. That's good, because we get to draw a conclusion. Okay? Make sure that we have a limit that's greater than 0, and it's not infinity, then we get to draw a conclusion. The conclusion is, the original have the same conclusion as something that we know much better. Since this converges, we can also say that the original series also converges, and the reason is by the limit comparison test. Limit comparison test. And I will quote with that, with this series. Summation, when n goes from 1 to infinity, 9 over 10 to the nth power. And this right here is pretty much our conclusion. And that's it.